All right, coming up next, guys, it's cold everywhere but Miami. We're still in the 80s here, so wearing shorts. But I know around the country it's snowing, there's snowstorms. People are trapped on like highways on I-95 for days. Hopefully everyone is safe, but I wanted to do a topical uh, video. And today's video is my five, right now, my five, I don't know if they're my five favorite, but five fragrances that I love that are warm fragrances that when you put them on, they give you a sense of warmth and feeling snug and tight. And these are five great ones. And as always, I try to find ones that are a little bit under the radar for you so you can kind of, you know, think outside the box. Find what they are coming up next. All right, guys, welcome back to Joel the Nose. Sorry, I had to drop something there. Uh, today's video, as you saw from the intro, is going to be five fragrances that I recommend right now for you for this cold weather. Again, in Miami, I can wear whatever fragrance I want whenever I want, but a lot of you guys right now are stuck in cold weather. And either way, even if you're not in cold weather, these are great five warm fragrances. I like warm fragrances, even in the summer here when it's really hot, because I like how warm fragrances smell on my skin. They do really well. I think warm fragrances typically uh, are fragrances that bring out the heat of your skin, the oil in your skin. They mix well, especially if you have a more oily skin like I do. They really interact well, give great sillage, projection, just work wonderfully. So these are five, not in any particular order. I'm gonna go five to one, but they're not in any particular order. And first I have here from BDK, and that is Rouge Smoking. I think this one speaks for itself. In the law, or as an attorney, we would say race ipsa loquitur, uh, which is Latin for the thing speaks for itself. This speaks for itself. Uh, this is a, think of like a smoking jacket. Think of uh, a just kind of red smoking. I picture sitting in a boardroom or maybe a parlor room, a smoking room with a pipe. Uh, very elegant, very rich, very opulent this fragrance is. And what really brings it out for me, um, the kind of warmth that brings it out for me, and everyone's gonna be different. So whatever works for you, works for you. But to me, this has an interesting black vanilla which, um, note, which I'd never really kind of heard of that before. So when I saw that, and I knew that this, there was something distinct about it, to me it's that black vanilla. But it also has cashmere wood, which wood fragrances and notes to me are typically gonna be more warmer uh, notes on my skin again. Again, you know, each fragrance is gonna react differently for everybody. So, you know, as you're thinking about this, let me hear some of the fragrances that you love that give a warm feeling to your skin. But Rouge Smoking, coming in there. Um, excuse the noise, they're doing construction around here. All right, next, a fragrance I've talked about a lot in the past, and that is Tom of Finland. You know, this one always makes my list for like kind of most hyper-masculine, sexy, this is always, uh, just a wonderful fragrance, one of my favorites in my personal collection. But again, it just, on my skin, it just oozes warmth. I picture myself sitting by a fire with a loved one, snuggling up, cuddling, just you know, getting into it. This is a perfect fragrance for that. And I think what does it for me is there's an interesting mix here between a suede note and a vetiver note in the dry down that really brings out that rich warmth feeling for me. So again, when you're looking at notes and you're looking at breakdowns, I don't really care so much a lot of times about what all the notes are. That's why you don't see me mentioning every single note here. It's about what particular notes make you feel a certain way. And, and trying to identify those notes because then you can look for those in other fragrances. But in this one, again, it's that suede vetiver combo that brings out the warmth. All right, next. Gonna go to one that, wow, this is definitely, I think, one a little bit more under the radar from a really great house. And that is Honey Oud from Floris. Floris, the British niche house that is like made fragrances for like royalty. It's, this is a legendary house in England and doesn't get more English and British than Floris London. So Honey Oud to me is one of those kind of under the radar beautiful fragrances 
And it just, obviously, it's got honey, it's got oud. Uh, that honey uh, is just, gives it that kind of, like honey does, that kind of slow oozing sexiness to it. And the oud is in there, but it's not like an overpowering oud. But definitely the honey, the oud, and then there's some nice amber in there. And amber to me probably is the most, again, on my skin, the most, uh, I guess, I would say traditional uh, fragrance note that brings me warmth. Amber is a resin, it's resinous, it's again, almost like honey, it's oozing, it's warm, it's dark, it's rich, it's sexy. So this has that amber in there also. So check out Honey Oud from Floris if you want a good warm fragrance. Next, we're gonna go to my fourth fragrance that I have here, and that is Tango from, of course, Mosque Milano. Uh, this, you can just see from, look at the color. This, of all the ones that I have here, by far is the darkest. A real dark, beautiful, rich fragrance that, uh, it, it, it's like one of those fragrances that reminds me of being in a house in a dark wooden, uh, you know, wood walls trimmed, maybe bookcase with a fireplace crackling. That's what this reminds me of. It's so dark and rich and warm. Just looking at it makes me feel warmer, right? I mean, just looking at that juice makes me feel warmer. Um, you can see the bottle's pretty cool. Now, this one, again, is gonna have notes of amber, but it also has an interesting twist in a mix with the cinnamon and then cedar in the dry down. Cedar's another wood for me, again, that, that typically gives me a more of a drier warm, not like a, 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 like a fiery warm, but more of a dry warm. And that, that mix between the amber and the cinnamon on this gives it something that is truly special. Love this fragrance. One of the ones that I haven't talked about in a while from Mosque Milano that I really, really like, but try Tango. And lastly, brand new fragrance. This is gonna be one probably people are like, what? This is Cavort from Fragrance Dubois. I wanted to, th to put a new fragrance in. Again, I like to mix it up for you guys, introduce you to new things and to different fragrances than the ones people typically talk about in these different categories. But the reason why I picked this one, Cavort, is because of the saffron note and how it mixes with the incense note. And then it also has some labdomen, another resinous note. So between those three, that saffron, the incense, and the labdomen, it just has this sexy, warm quality. I think almost gourmand-like, and gourmand fragrances can be kind of warm to me also. So this is a fragrance that you may not, when you first read about it or think about it, think, oh, this is gonna be a warm fragrance on my skin it is so i would just say guys try it out open your minds try it out and let me know what you think if it is actually warm on your skin also because it comes off very warm on my skin but there you have it this is joel the nose thank you guys for watching quick reminder coming out january 13th hbo max the tv show that i'm going to be on my mom your dad reality dating show Huge, can't wait, it was big news. Maybe you saw my video the other day, but I am on the show trying to find love as a divorced dad. Will I find love? You have to watch it to find out. I want your guy, I appreciate your guys' support and uh, it means everything to me. Thank you guys again. I'll be back soon with another video. Peace, love, and perfumes.